Right, it's uh, Wednesday the 25th of January. Um, this is my first fishing session of 2012. So, uh, Happy New Year to you all. Um, and I hope you've uh, got out on the bank already. Um, today, the conditions are um, actually quite mild. Uh, it's probably about 10 degrees. Um, it doesn't feel very cold at all. Uh, there's quite a lot of other fishermen here. Um, and I've been talking to one of them. He said, uh, I've come on a good day. Apparently four have already come out and it's only just it's only just gone 10 um, both rods have been out probably about 20 minutes now I'm all set up and ready for the day um, feeling quite confident I've got a new rig on there um, the pop up corn seems to be working well on this lake so uh, I've got two lots of that out now one with a single grain balanced from the hook the other one double grain uh, KD rig and uh, so I'm feeling confident on the rigs. Uh, spots are quite close together, one just out the margin and one a bit further out. I've already had bubbles coming up and things. Um, so yeah, I've got new alarms because uh, as you saw, uh, Sam's given up fishing. And um, I suppose I should say sorry to those who thought the worst on that video. It was meant to be just a little joke because he was giving up fishing. So uh, sorry to those who thought the worst. Um, but anyway, from him selling up, I've got some new alarms. Uh, so they're the Fox Micron MX2s. So uh, hopefully hear them go off a few times today. Also got a new set of digital scales. They're only cheap, but I uh, wouldn't mind weighing a few fish with them today. So as I say, I'm feeling quite confident. Um, I'm fishing Newton Park. Uh, I'm on the dam swim, which um, you may remember when I first did a session up here. I was in this swim, and uh, right at the end I lost a big fish, or well, what felt like a big fish anyway. So. Uh, if he's still lingering, hopefully I'll have him today. So, well, as I say, uh, it's ten past ten now. I'm here for the day. Uh, got to be off quarter to five, so uh, depending on how it goes, I'll be there till then. So, uh, yeah. So we have some. Someone else in over there. So, uh, it's definitely fishing alright today. So that'll be number five, fish number five. And it's only mid morning, so. Cause it has been fairly warm the last few days, or well, felt quite warm. So, uh, I expect the fishing's picked up a little bit. There we are. Fish number five for someone else, anyway. Yet another person in. Um, he's to the left of me on the other bank. And uh, his right rod, which is quite close to me, just gone off. And it's in. So that's fish number six in the lake. At what I've come out today. So, um,. Surely it's got to be my turn soon. It's got to be. Um, no action yet on the rods. The odd beep, the odd touch. But uh, yet to have a fish. There we are. Fish number one. Um, it's 11 pounds, 6 ounce. Uh, it came off the right rod to the margin. So, uh, fish number one, and it gave up a hell of a fight. Uh, run around everywhere, taking loads of line. So yeah, first fish, just double. It's getting back, hope we have another one. Right, as I've just had a fish, I thought I'd show you the uh, bait I caught it on. It's double pop-up corn, uh, KD rig shot there uh, on the hair, and that perfectly balances up with the hook on the ground on the bottom. Um, 
I tied the hair differently where I tied down uh, down the shank of the hook and then did two turns under the hair to make the uh, hair rib pop out more and um, the seeds have done the job and that was properly hooked so it wasn't coming off it's about eight inches long uh, to bolt rig inline lead with sink sink tubing anchor rig tubing and I've got about two three foot of that so that's what I've just had that fish on so uh and I just cast that out and then put some pellet around it so I'm gonna do the same again and hopefully add another one right then as you saw uh, I had a fish um, I was off the right rod which is just down down under a tree well between two trees um, and I just scattered around some pellet over it and I just because I just put the bait out by itself uh, as you saw the double pop up corn um, and I put that out and then sprinkled pellet around it and probably about 20 minutes 25 minutes after um, the rod started banging around and took a load of line and even when I, after I struck into it and uh, flicked the bait runner off he just kept on taking line kept on kept on going and um, eventually managed to slow it down and uh, but he kited all the way around to the left of the swim um, I see he put a hell of a fight for uh, for the size of it it was 11 pounds 6 ounce just a double but um, quite a nice long dark common and commas always fight better than mirrors, I think. So, um, yeah, it's quite a good fish. Um, it's probably been about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour since I had that fish. Um, rod back out in the same place, same tactics. Left rod I've left since I cast out this morning, so I might redo that one in a minute. Um, I can't do much about the wind noise because it is blowing straight into my swim today. So, uh, if it is bad, then I'm sorry for that. But, um, yeah, so as I say, I've had one. I think six other fish have come out, so it's fishing quite well today. So uh, I reckon I'll have another one at least. Oh, yeah, fish number two. This is probably about five, five, six pounds. Not the biggest fish, but uh, lovely scales on it. And that came off the left rod this time, so. Uh, and that was just single pop up core and nothing else around it. So I'll put that one back out. Hello again. Um, it's now ten to two, uh, so it's been quite a li quite a while since I uh, caught anything. And if I'm honest, the whole lake has been dead. Uh, I think just one pike has come out all, all since I've caught. Um, I'm the only one to. Have, well, the last two fish have both been mine out of the lake, so um, at least there might be more fish down this end of the lake than up there. Uh, but yeah, it's been pretty dead and really cold. It got really cold. Um, I'm a bit windy coming into my swim too. Uh, the wind's died down a bit now, but it's still pretty chilly. Um, I was just talking to one of the bailiffs uh, who came around, and um, might be a bit of good news. Might be able to do some provo promotional video uh, for one of the other lakes on the Bathampton AA, um, a place called Lydes Farm. So uh, don't know whether anything will happen, but um, he mentioned if I get in contact with uh, sort of the bath up in AA um, I might be able to do some promotional video in for another lake so uh, possibly a new lake to be coming onto my videos but um, yeah we'll see but it'll be nice to fish somewhere else as well this year um, keep my options open for different places so yeah see what happens right it's 25 to 3 um, it's really cold now I've moved my uh, shelter to block as much of the wind as I can but I haven't felt my feet for quite a while now <laughs> um, and fishing is dead nobody's had anything um, I think people are starting to pack up as well uh, the reason I'm staying on is because I've said before that this lake tends to pick up more towards the evening and although we can't really stay until late it's only quarter to five I'm thinking that's when it's starting to get dark so possibly having some more fish then um, so yeah 25 to 3 so um, not too long left but uh, I might stick it out a bit longer see if we have any action because um, the thing is I haven't got any bait around my rigs well at least not the left one so all it takes is just a fish sort of swimming past see it and have it 
so um, it's not like I'm trying to draw many fish in. It just needs to take one to pick it up. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll stick it out a little bit more. But it is pretty cold, and uh, that'll be here too much longer. Right, well, it's four o'clock. Um, didn't have anything else. There's a little bit of time left, but I doubt I'll stay on. Um, it's getting extremely cold. I haven't felt my feet for ages, so uh, I think I'm just going to start to pack away now. So unless uh, I catch anything else, this will be my last video. So uh, cheers for watching. Uh, wasn't terribly eventful, but I had a few on the bank, so uh, for a winter session, not too bad. Uh, so yeah, I'll be out again soon. See you again.